Okay, today's video we're going to show you the 1965-66 Mustang Junior body uh, that came out of the original Mustang Junior mold made by the uh, power car company of Mystic, Connecticut in 1964 uh, for the introduction of the new Mustang series. Uh, these were available to dealers prior to the introduction of the new model year so they could set them up on their showroom floors and out on their dealerships to attract customers into the dealership. Uh, generally by the uh, kids yanking mom and dad by the hand to go down and get a free test drive. Uh, these were used as uh, dealer promotional products, uh, raffles, uh, kids would get a chance to win them simply by providing the dealership with all the information they needed to contact their parents for the next few years. Um, that information was of course put to use by the salesman because as any salesman can tell you about uh, cars, the worst thing about selling a car is getting people into the dealership. Um, these little things did that. They did it by attracting the kids in, who then by forced their parents into the vehicle, into the uh, dealerships. Uh, these uh, bodies are made with every bit of detail that was originally given them in 1964 and 65 and 66 uh, by the power car company because it is from the original mold. There's no mold loss whatsoever. Uh, each individual detail is in there. The headlight buckets are recessed because they used original lighting in there. Uh, headlights and taillights are operational. Uh, the taillights on the gas powered original models had uh, brake lights in them also, uh, but you can do that on a reproduction one any way you want. Uh, the 6566 also have a detailed dash. Uh, as you can see, the speedometer and the gauges and everything are in there. Okay, here we have the uh, front bumper for the 1965-66. Uh, you need to drill some holes in the body to put the mount bolts through that are set into the bumper that allow for mounting. Uh, the bumpers were originally painted an argent silver, uh, but you can actually chrome plate uh, fiberglass, so if you want to, you can go as far as to chrome plate your bumpers along with any other details. Here, as I set this back into position, you can see how that lines up. Again, you'll need to drill the holes through the body to mounted in there. Tail lights are recessed for working tail lights. Down below on the park light lenses, uh, the reverse light lenses and the park light lenses up front, that is set up I believe for a 1 and 5 8 inch uh, freeze plug. The freeze plug uh, just fits right in there and looks just like a lens once you paint them to the proper color. Alright, here we got a rare little piece of history. This is the original mold uh, from the 1965-66 Mustang Juniors that was made by the Power Car Company in Mystic, Connecticut. Power Car actually had Ford Company stylists that would take and make these mold, uh, the mold masters so that they could produce these uh, bodies. Uh, they were produced by drawings prior to the introduction of the full-size cars so they could be used in those opening day festivities. Uh, here in a minute I'll turn it up on the side so you can get an idea of some of the detail inside. Okay, uh, as you can see, it has hood lines, it has door lines, uh, the definition lines, uh, the grills on the side of the uh, headlight buckets, uh, everything is molded right in. Uh, the vents in the cowl, uh, the dash is completely detailed within the mold so that it is able to provide that uh, detail in each individual body. Uh, you can see on the original mold maybe that it's got some spider cracking. Uh, that's from age and use. However, when you go to finish your bodies, if it comes with any spider cracking, that just comes out when you block sand the original bodies. Some of the parts that come along with these vehicles that are available in reproduction, here's the original vacuum form style drill insert for the 66. It requires some additional train, uh, trimming before it goes in. Also, here's the 1966 uh, Tony and Corral mounts in the center of the uh, vacuum form section, just like the original. You use screws on the sides here to hold it into position. The top of the fins are, are uh, painted silver. The rest of it uh, is left black, okay? This is the 1965 and also for the 67 Pony and Corral insert. And the 65s and 67s used a mesh uh, aluminum material in behind those grill inserts. I'm working on... Uh, 
All right, here's some original headlight lenses. These are made with an original pattern off of an original piece. Uh, they're cut out of here with a pair of heavy scissors with a clear plastic and set, fit right inside this rim. You can see right here in the headlight buckets the areas for the screws to mount them. Also the recess points on the side of the lens where the screw goes in to mount. This is a taillight lens that's been painted. I sell them in painted or unpainted form. This is made off an original piece. Once it's painted, it's cut off around the outside edge. Two screws here and here. Set of taillight lenses as they come. This is just in clear plastic vacuum formed as an original piece would be. Original style hubcaps are also made. The original style hubcaps used a center cone on the back side that actually slipped over the center section of the wheel. They didn't work very well, that's why the hubcaps are so rare. This is a 66 cap that's been painted and I don't have any 65s pulled right now but there's my mold buck for it, the 65s, with Newell stock original inserts once you paint the back side of the cap. I recommend rather than using a uh, cone to hold it in place, after you got it all painted up, cut it out of here and silicone it into the center of the wheel. It'll hold on better there. You don't really get many flat tires with these. If you do, you can pry it off and glue it back on again. All right, this is a Newell stock set of uh, dash decals for the 6566 Mustang. As you can see, you put these in, take off, and just stick them into place. They also have the section for the radio. Uh, that's after you paint your dash all up and get all your chrome details in place. But dash decals are available for these to give the original detail that was provided when they were new. This is a uh, reproduction power car steering wheel as the originals were. These mount right in here in this area and actually the frame requires you to cut a little U-shape on up through the dash in order to let the body sit down on the frame. Uh, I have a frame video on YouTube if you'd like to see more information on that, but steering wheel mounts right in that location. It does mount to the left and allows you to uh, um, have a passenger and a driver. Uh, on the dash itself, over here on this side right here is where the uh, headlight switch would go. You'd pull as just uh, Cole Hersey single on single off switch with a chrome knob pull it out turn your headlights off push it off turn your headlights on over here on this side on original electric cars had nothing but on gas cars there was a key switch put in here where the glove box lock would be that actually act as a kill switch for your uh, ignition on your gas motor 